<clears throat> All right, so today <clears throat> I'm going to be showing you how to disassemble a Canon uh, FD lens. This is a 50 millimeter prime. Uh, this will work on um, the 50 millimeter, pretty much any of the Canon FD primes. But all right, so <clears throat> what you want to do to first start out is remove the side screws that are right there, and um, I'm going to be showing you how to disassemble it and then uh, reassemble it properly because it can be pretty confusing at times. It took me like three days to learn exactly how to disassemble and reassemble it because there's no proper guides on it. Alright, now you just want to take like a screwdriver or whatever, lift up on this <coughs> uh, metal ring, just set that aside. Alright now, this is the, it's like one of the main components that is kind of tricky. So pretty much all you want to do is just lift up. Stuff will move, but it doesn't matter. You can just set that aside. And um, you can go ahead and after you've done that, you can just go ahead and unscrew these. There would be another screw there, but I lost it. But just unscrew that and then set that aside. All right, now, <clears throat> now we're at the focus ring and the one of the parts that moves the aperture. So you, you can just take this out, it's not a big deal. And you can turn that and then remove that. So basically this is like, this is where you're at for the full teardown. You've gotten down to all of it and basically with this, this is where you go to like de-click your lens, you can take out the ball bearing. There would be a track right here that you can uh, remove, so, or I think it's like right here. yeah it's right here. That you would remove. So I took mine out, took the ball bearing out, and you clicked mine. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to put it back together because it's definitely not that straightforward and there's like absolutely no guide on YouTube. That's kind of why I'm making this. So first off, you want to find where this little divot is and that goes right here. It would be opposite of where that little strip is. This goes right there, place it on there, and that's where it goes. As you can see, you can kind of tell because like there's your uh, aperture numbers, and it goes right on that uh, line. So, and then you take this, which is the thing that adjusts the aperture, just place that in there, and you kind of have to wiggle it down and adjust it until it's sitting in there flush. Give me a second. There you go. So it's sitting in there flush. You'll know because when you move the focus ring, it'll also move this with it. And then now you want to take this part with a little button on it. And you want to place it so this little latch right here. It's right where this little thing is. And you want to line it up with the screw holes. Just go ahead and screw that back in. And then you would screw this one back in, but again, I lost that screw. And so, now this is the real tricky part on how to really realign this and set it back up. Because it took me forever to figure out how to realign this. So I'll show you how to do that. You're going to want to set your uh, focus ring to like 22. Or you can do it at 1.8, 1, 1 but I usually just set it at 22. And then you want to set this... So that is at its minimum minimum aperture right there because this is the aperture control as you can see. So you want to set it so that's at the minimum aperture. That'd be about right there. And then so you also want to set so it's at 22, so the minimum aperture. And now you want to take this um, and pretty much just align this with that right there and then pretty much just go ahead and 
set it in there, and then while, while before you set it in there, you want to pull this up, and then you can go ahead and set it in there. Now, as you can see, after we'll open, because you have to push this up to open it, but it'll open and it works. And now before you close it back up, you want to turn it, well you want to press this button, right here, press that button, then you turn it. So they're both matching up, uh, both of these dots are matching up. And now you will uh, find this part where there's like two little uh, divots or whatever, and you want to line it up with the hole right there. Just line it in and uh, make sure it's all sitting flush. And go ahead and put your screws back in. And so yeah, again, the reason I'm doing oh shoot, the reason I'm doing this is because I searched for like hours and I didn't see one single tutorial on how to properly set this up. So it kind of frustrated me. It took me forever see how you actually do this. I want to help you guys out. Alright, that's pretty much it. I can show you. <coughs> have my uh, <coughs> lens adapter here for my camera. And pretty much you want to line these pegs up. These two pegs up. up. And uh, just go ahead and, and then you're all good. You wanna you wanna unlock it first, and then there you go. That's how you do it.